Hello and welcome to Ginger Engineering. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to program your robot using EZC V4 or EZC V5. So we're going to start by opening up our program and you're going to start a new competition project. You can put in your team number or just leave it as it is. Now the first thing you're going to do when you get into this page is go to controller configuration over here at Project Explorer. You're going to go to this motors box and you're going to type in where you've plugged your motors in to each port on the Cortex. We do this so that it's easier to specify which blocks power what motors in the actual code. So I've got my let's say left drive and right drive. Now for most of you, you're probably going to have four motor drives, so go ahead and put those in of any other boxes, whichever they're plugged into on the Cortex. And then you can do the same thing for claws, arms, anything else. Any other motors you're using, give it a little name, and then you can press OK to close that out. Now you're going to go over to Operator Control tab up here. This is where you put all the code that controls your robot from the controller. So what you're going to be opening to code in this area is Joystick. This is where you're going to be pretty much finding everything you're going to need over here. So we're going to start by dragging in a tank, 4 motor or 2 motor, just depends on how many motors you're using for your drive. I'm using just two for my example, but I'm going to show you the tank 4 motor because that's what most of you will, will be using. Alright, so the first box, a joystick number, transmitter. Uh, this is just specifying which controller you're programming the buttons to. So it is possible to, to use two controllers. You have the main controller and a partner controller. For most of you, it, you're probably just going to be using the first controller, so you can leave that at one. Transmitter channel, these you can just leave the same. This just means that the left side will be controlled by the left um, joystick, right side, right joystick. Now when we get down here to the uh, motors, this is pretty obvious. Just go ahead and drop these down, select left drive. This, this right here is why we put in the controller configuration. It shows right here the comment. Left drive here, right drive, and then you can put in your other motors here for whatever drives you've selected. Now after you've downloaded this program, you can come back to this same thing, open it up, and then you can choose to invert the direction if the motor is not spinning the correct direction that you um, that you are pushing the button to, to go. So then make sure, okay, this is an important thing you need to do whenever you're programming is to always comment. It's very important. That way when you come back and look at the code, you'll always know what it is. You don't get confused. And when you're being judged uh, at competitions, it's, uh, it's an important part of that too. So I'm just going to write drive. So it doesn't even have to be complicated, just uh, something simple like that. All right, and that's your drive. Um, we do the tank four motor rather than like arcade four motor. You can do either way, either one, but I I do tank because with tank the left the left joystick controls the left side of the robot. The right joystick controls the right side of the drive. With arcade, the left side would just control something like forward, backward. Right side would control left and right. It's a little bit more confusing, but some people prefer that. All right, now as for programming, um, like claws and arms and things like that you're going to come back over here to the joystick tab look down here at joystick digital to motor you can click and drag that in just under there and uh the similar to the um the drive uh up here at joystick number you can just leave that at one if you're just programming your main controller channel right here this is which button you're going to press for to activate the motor so uh for the first one you can just leave it on five if you'd like that that's just one of the that's the back left button all right, and then forward direction, reverse direction. This right here specifies which you, which button you want to press to make it go which direction. So you can just leave it like this and then test it. And if you want to switch it, you can come back here and just invert direction by changing button one to button two and button two to button one. All right, and then let's say you want your motor to move a little bit slower, but you don't really want to gear it. You just want a simple, you know, simply move slower. Uh, you can go down here to motor value on either one. You can highlight that and just change the number to something lower like 50 and it'll go a lot slower. Uh, but 127 is the max power that you can put to a motor and then 
you'll know it's reverse direction if it's a negative number. So you can do the same thing down here and just do a negative 50 or whatever number you want. And then the final thing, uh, motor number. This is just where you specify which motor your arm is being controlled, like which uh, port your arm is connected into. So let's say port 7. And then just make sure you write your comments. So let's say this is the arm. Press OK, and there you have it. Uh, these numbers are just what we selected, so main controller, button 5, uh, which direction, I've actually got this kind of messed up, this should be a 2, but that doesn't matter right now since it's just an example. Alright, and then you can just go ahead and put in as many of those as you have for the amount of buttons you want and the amount of motors you have. So, and um, it, you can also program multiple motors to the same button or, by, or switch it around, you can program if you'd like one motor to multiple buttons. Um, I don't really see a reason why you would do that, but you can. And then uh, once you have that, you can go ahead and download the program into your robot. You can test it and then come back here, do the invert directions if you need to. And that's how you do the uh, a regular basic operator control program using EZC, V4, or V5. When it comes to putting the program onto the robot, what you'll need to do is take your mail-to-mail -mail USB cable, plug it into the computer, and plug it into the robot, the Cortex. You're going to press F7 or the build and download. Then you're going to see something like this. It's going to switch to this when it's done. And then you can plug in your VexNet keys into the Cortex and the controller, turn it on. And once the lights are both flashing green, that, that's how you know the batteries are charged and it's fully connected. You can test the, uh, the directions and then go back and invert if needed. There you go.